black powder, and we're gonna, in a minute we're going to we're going to load one of these things up and shoot it. But there are a couple of things. We we talked about uh, your possibles bag, which is which right. is this bag, and uh, all of this stuff that you need really fits in there. A very simple operation. One thing we didn't talk about was was your indicator here where you stick it in yeah. the ground at how many yards? This is a homemade device, and basically well, I what I do is, is I take my spent arrows, I remove the fletching, and this serves three purposes. I take a piece of marabou with some fly tying thread and I tie it onto the rod. Mm -hmm. So this now serves three purposes. This is a distance marker, so I can set it at a prescribed distance of 30, 40, 50 yards. My wind indicator is the marabou that tells me if I have a shift in thermal or wind current, and I can hang a scent canister. Oh yeah, right on the right on the right knock. knock huh? so, yeah. so this works very simple. And I've been and using these for we years. We plant this right in the ground, and, yep. uh, and we go with it. Yeah, Absolutely. That's a, you know, that's a really that's a really good idea. Okay, we're going to go out. And we're going to have Joanne uh, talk to you a little bit, and and, uh, and, uh, and maybe we'll get her to shoot there, and uh, we'll see what happens. Sounds like fun. All right. Look so, oh, yeah, you have a patch. I know, okay. that's pretty cool. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to go through the safe way to load this. And, right. and this is really important. The safety is really important. You always want to make sure that you have control of this mm -hmm. at all times. And the way I do this is that I'm actually ready to load. I actually put it down and I wedge it against the inside of my instep mm -hmm. so that I can control with my other hand the direction of the muzzle. And I always keep the muzzle pointed away from me. Right. Mm -hmm. Always. Right. All right? Now. Are we going to use this kind of a shot? We can use either one. Or Traditionally, kind of a shot. we can use. I think we'll do the round ball because I think it's interesting for people to see how the patch works. Wonderful. Okay. I like that. Yep. So this is a volumetric measure. What I've done is I've set it to number eight, mm -hmm. which means that this will give me exactly 80 grains of black powder. Mm -hmm. And the way I get a uniform load is this top swivels open and swivels okay. back. Sure. So basically, what I do mm -hmm. is I carry my double F in this little plastic vial because mm -hmm. I don't like carrying the traditional flask because right. it's too big and I want it to fit inside that little mm -hmm. so what I'll do is I'll just cup it around my finger and I'll just fill it up right, I see that. until the powder comes up over the top right I'll shake it to make sure it's nice and even and then all you do is just slide this over and now I've got exactly 80 grains of powder. Mm -hmm. At this point, now all the safety procedures come into play. Right. I will put the rifle down okay. against my instep. I'll control the muzzle mm -hmm. with my left hand. Mm -hmm. I will now pour the powder in. And I'll tap it once. Mm -hmm. Make sure all the powder goes in. Now all 80 grains are in here. Right. Now, it could be a little lopsided, so I'll just tap the barrel a couple of times to get it nice and even. Mm -hmm. So the powder charge is sitting in here. Basically mm -hmm. what we'll do now is, again, I'm controlling, I'm always controlling the muzzle with this right. hand. Yep. I will take a patch, one patch. And that's will, got a, it's got a... It's lubricated. Right. Right? Okay. So it's got a little grease on it to make it easier to go down. And the reason for it is, this is a 50 caliber rifle. Mm -hmm. This ball that we're going to fire, mm -hmm. if you can take it out for me, because you've got a little longer nails, <laughs> is 0 .490, mm -hmm. which means there's a gap of 0 .10. So I need to fill that gap, and that's what the patch does, because okay. we need a tight fit. Okay. So we just center it on the patch, and we start it down mm -hmm. with the short starter, this little right. nub. Mm -hmm. And basically, you just put it on, you give it a tap. Mm -hmm. And that seats it right. about a quarter of an inch. Yep. Then we take this end, which is called the long starter, and we do this. Right. So now it's down here. It's right about here. Now we take the ramrod, right. and in one motion, we try to get it to go You tap it down on top tap of the powder. Tap it down on top of the powder. Right. And that's it. Right now, this is loaded. Right. Okay? It's live. It's live. Except it can fire. Yes. Because this powder charge can't go off unless it has another powder charge to ignite it. Right. So, now what we're going to do is we'll go through the procedures that we did earlier. We're going to come back here to half cock. We're going to lift this a little bit. And you're going to take this. And all we have to do, can we see that, mm -hmm. is just push down and the powder. Oh, I see, yes. Just comes out on its own. Right. Uh huh. We fill it up. We flip it down. Mm -hmm. And now we're ready to fire. Now it can fire. OK. Exactly. Yes, indeed. Mm -hmm. Are you ready to fire, Joanne? I think so. OK. That 
That's it. Good shot. Are you aiming here or are you aiming here? No, she was aiming here. I was here. aiming at the little target. This one. Yeah. The little target. Yeah. That's an excellent shot. Very exciting when, uh, when we're going to show you the target in a little bit, but she, uh, she made a nice shot. Um, you also have a program come up. You're involved with the, you're the, you're the secretary for the yep. uh, Broadhead chapter of Trout Unlimited. In addition to all the other things I've been doing, they <laughs> just made me the secretary. You know, one of the things that's coming up, uh, we talked during the segment on black power, how I use marabou as, a, as an indicator for the thermal, but uh, we use marabou to tie flies, and we have a great fly tying class that's coming up three consecutive Saturdays starting January 5th, the 5th, the 12th, and the 19th, and it's a beginner's class, so anybody can come. There's absolutely no charge. Wow. We only have a small materials fee. They have their own tools and materials. There's no charge. If they want to borrow materials, we let them borrow a set. No charge. The contact is Tom Batista, chapter president, and it's 570-236-1734. All right, don't forget it. Broadhead chapter of Crowd Unlimited, where it's going to be held? It's going to be at the Monroe County Environmental uh, Education Center on Running Valley Road. Everybody's welcome, even if you're not a member of TU. You can come out and you can join. It's easy to do and a great organization. The after these brief messages will be. We'll be right back. Well, if you're wondering where Joanne hit, um, that was a pretty good shot there, about 50 yards. That was, that was oh, good. That you was did good. good. Is that how far away you it was? Good. Yeah, okay. you did good. You, uh, good. you hit the right on that target. I tried to get it right in the middle on the floor. I know you did, but you got a four. So, Maybe four. I, uh, whatever I was shooting, I got it. You got it. That's right. Uh, you know, one of the things that you may see when you uh, think about when you saw Joanne shooting and, you know, we were all there, we certainly do wear ear protection, and you should wear ear protection uh, all the time when you're shooting because uh, I can tell you, you can shoot yourself deaf. And, and we actually have the, this type of ear protection. These are called Walker Game Ears. Right. And uh, we've been using these for years. And what these do actually, they're actually hearing aids. And so they let you hear very well in the woods and you can turn up the mm -hmm. volume. And you plug one ear and yep. you have the one volume ear, in the other? One ear is a plug and one ear is, uh, you know, fitted. And when, but when the gun goes off, you don't have any repercussion. It shuts, shuts the hearing off immediately. Yep, it shuts, it shuts right down. Just as soon as you shoot, again. any kind of, right, and then it comes right back up again. So, yep. so you do want to do the ear protection when yep. you're doing that. The other yeah. thing I want to mention too, Joanne, was the fact that, you know, right here at Dunkelburgers is probably the only place within, I don't know, 50 miles that you can buy, or 25 miles or whatever, that you can buy black powder. It's exactly. the only place in the area that sells black powder for, you know, for black powder shooting. The pure uh, thing you need, not the synthetic stuff. It's all right. And they've got all your needs, of course, anything oh. you want with the sure. lock uh, black powder, including the rifles, a variety mm -hmm. of choice. And, and all, all the those pieces that, that you need. Everything, everything, everything that yep. you absolutely need. Hey, December 26th, right after Christmas. That's could be a nice Christmas present to get back, to get into the woods and mm -hmm. uh, do a little bit of hunting. I hope we have a little snow then to make it really. Y you know that's what makes it. That's really kind of you know adds to it. That yes. certainly adds to it. The snow yeah. is there's something about hunting in the snow and being out there <laughs> snow that we just love. It's just. You know, it's just so much fun to do, and it's uh, exciting and a great time to be in the woods. Anyway, we hope you enjoyed the show and learned something and uh, about black powder, and we want to thank Will Daskal for his uh, for participation sure. and, and sharing all that with us. Don't forget, your headquarters is Dunkelburgers for all your gifts for Christmas and for any of this black powder stuff. We're going to be hunting. We're going to be out. We're going to be out in the open. Absolutely. <laughs>